Hey everybody, I'm Fox with Foxio Games, and there is only one web browser based game that I actually care to play, and it's RPG Reborn. I didn't originally find it on GameStop's Congregate website, but it is available to play there. Like nearly all browser based games, it's free to play. Let's cover the basis first, and then at the end of this review, I'll explain why I even bother to play a game like this. First up, graphics. Well, yeah, I mean, just look at it. There are graphics, I mean, that's for sure. RPG Reborn clearly isn't about good graphics. Heck, it's not even about well-done art. Many of the 2D sprites are quite small and either lack detail or look exceedingly simple. Some are a bit muddy or really messy looking and can be difficult to discern what they actually are. The ground and wall textures look fairly decent, but they very obviously repeat on this glaringly obvious grid. The actual game world where the action takes place, if you can call it action, is only a portion of the total game space. The rest is dominated by a very large user interface, with buttons to change which section of the interface is visible. The inventory is probably one of the best looking parts of the game, with much higher detailed sprites for the items. What else can I say? This game meets the bare minimum requirements for having graphics. For sound and music, let's cover the music first. There is none. As for sound effects, they're not bad. The auto quality is fairly low, and something you might expect from a Windows 3.11 game, but that will make more sense later. The sounds of combat will indicate roughly how close you are to killing an enemy, and the sound of downing a health potion is positively powerful. Gosh, I just love that sipping sound, followed by the inevitable breaking glass sound. No doubt the result of the player tossing the used health potion aside and letting it shatter on the ground. When it comes to story, well, there's a little bit of story here, I think. Maybe? Honestly, I'm not really sure. Suffice it to say, you're an adventurer who is battling monsters and other creatures on a quest to become stronger and acquire better gear, and that's the usual goal of all online fantasy games. Where RPG Reborn becomes a worthwhile experience for me is in the gameplay. Yes, there is gameplay here. Incredibly simple, yet surprisingly addictive gameplay. I think one of the reasons this game appeals to me so much is that it's a slightly nostalgic reminder of a game that I used to play and loved long ago. That game, called Legends of Kesme, was shut down back in 2000, but I played it for years before that, one of the earliest graphical online games. As you watch this Legends of Kesme gameplay, it should be more than obvious that RPG Reborn borrows heavily from that game, if not outright copying sounds and design elements. The author of RPG Reborn used to play Legends of Kesme and made the game specifically to appeal to players of the now defunct classic. You start the game out by creating a character and you can pick essentially one melee skill and one magic skill. There are also some utility skills like making potions. In RPG Reborn, you move around on a grid by double-clicking a path with little yellow feet icons. If you hit a solid object, you're stunned briefly. You interact with NPCs by right-clicking on them, and you fight monsters by double-clicking on them. That's right, double left-click. You can also double-click on their names in the creature list window. The game that this is based on, the one we talked about, Legends of Kesme, was originally itself based on a text game, so it still had text-based commands that you could input. You could literally type backslash fight kobold to attack a kobold. RPG Reborn has dispensed with nearly all of the text commands, something that kind of saddened me. After all, clicking endlessly on monsters to fight them could quickly lead to carpal tunnel syndrome. You don't get experience points, you gain skill levels. Your skills increase as you use them, such as increasing your skill with a specific weapon or magic class by simply attacking monsters with it or using it. You can use gold to train those skills so that they increase faster. And this is where RPG Reborn calls back nostalgic feelings to a fault. The game is painfully slow with character progression, just like the game it is based on. Back in the day, this was normal. It was common to play text-based MUDs for hours upon hours, day after day, just to gain one skill or one experience level. That's right, you heard me. Hours upon hours for days on end for one level. Well, nowadays, I think most players, including me, find this pace of progression simply way too slow. I imagine that most players will quickly get bored, especially considering the game does very little to guide you on how to play. There's a little in-game manual of sorts, but it barely covers the most basic elements of the game. So what's the verdict? RPG Reborn scratches an itch for me that the closing of Legends of Kesme left behind. I'm able to play this game for hours at times, despite the painfully slow rate of progression. If you don't mind playing a game that emulates one of the earliest fantasy MMOs before they were actually massive, then maybe you should give RPG Reborn a try. There's a link in the description of this video. However, be aware that this is a pretty hardcore throwback. Expect to be totally lost at first and to spend hours just trying to figure out what to do, where to go, and how to play the game. Without someone to guide you, you might just end up giving up within the first hour or even less. 
I once considered doing a live stream and seeing if people would like to create new characters and adventure together. If there is interest in it, I'd consider doing it. Just let me know in the comment section below. Obviously, this only applies to the period of time shortly after this video is published. After all, if this video is two years old, well, I can't make you any promises. So what do you think of RPG Reborn? Does it seem crazy that I actually like playing this game? Or do you think this is a game that you might actually like to play? I'm Fox with Foxio Games. Like the video if you liked it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check the links in the video description for Twitter and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys next time.